So today we're going to install the Hawk Performance HPS Ferro Carbon Brake Pads and these are just for the fronts and we're going to go over the install for the fronts. So this car specifically is a Ford Focus ST 2013 and you're going to start by loosening up the lug nuts for the front wheels. And this is specifically the tool that came with the, uh, the tire replacement kit. So um, I'm not sure what uh, bolt size this is, but I'll put that in the, um, in the link right here. Another thing before I move on, you wanna be careful to get the right size for the lug nuts. Uh, the last thing you wanna do is strip these bolts um, because first off you want to make sure that you tighten these as much as you can um, when you get back on the road and the last thing you want to do is have loose lug nuts and strip lug nuts that means you'll have to buy some new lug nuts which is a pain in the ass so don't do that next thing we're gonna do is lift the car up a little bit um, I have a floor jack which is the easiest way to do it um, you want to find the line right here and then make sure that the floor jack is underneath there and it's away from all the plastic so what you can do here is lift it up just a little bit and make sure that it hits the spot that you want it to hit which is the subframe portion right here and it looks like we're good. And for this job, you don't have to get the wheel very high. You just want to make sure that it's off the floor, like you can see here. Get a little air. Next up, you want to take the rest of the lug nuts off. Now when you tighten these back up, which you'll see in a little bit, you want to make sure that you put them on in a star the way that you would draw a star. So you would go this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. Also, while you're at it, with the wheel off, you should clean the inside of this ba baby because it is dirty. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do here is to take off this cap right here. Um, it's right behind the uh, the caliper right here. Um, this will get you to the uh, the hexes that are back back here. So first cap, and make sure you don't lose these things. <laughs> and there's one below here as well. So same spot right here. You can use your hands. You can use your fingers. You can use a little um, screwdriver or whatever. Either way works. These are the actual um, things that the caps are come off. And the best way to do this is to actually turn the steering wheel to the actual location that you're. So if you're on the left side, turn the wheel left. If you're on the right side, turn the wheel right. Because that way you get easier access to the section. And a lot of times this is kind of difficult to get out. It's pretty, it's pretty stuck in there. All right, once we get that top one loose, then you want to go for the bottom one. These bolts should actually come out and they're actually fairly long, so just be aware of that. And I'll show you how much torque it actually takes. Okay, so that one wasn't that bad. The other one was a little bit tighter, so. Um, but these are pretty long, so it'll take a while to actually get them out, so just be patient. And right here is where that bolt's gonna come out. So as you can see, it's pretty freaking long, so. The thread isn't that long, so at one point you'll actually be able to pull this out. There we go. Like that. So once those are out, um, you can either walk, work on this here, this little bolt, or this uh, what is that called? It's probably a pin or some kind of metal piece of pin here. 
or you can also work on this part which is separating the calipers from the rotors. So basically to get this clip out, um, this is kind of scrunched up into, into this uh, hole right here. And what you have to do is basically with a screwdriver, flat nose, very, very skinny one, you have to try to pry this out. And while you're prying that out, use another screwdriver flathead to pry this out towards this, this way. And that ba basically just comes out pretty easily. And now that you're done with that, you wanna pry away this caliper here. Basically what you wanna do is you wanna reach in here and pry away the, the brake pad from the actual caliper. So that's basically what you do here. And once that's loose, you should be able to pull this off here. Like that. So once you get this off, you wanna clean the shit out of all of this. Because as you can see from my other brake pads, these are disgusting and they smell awful. So when your brakes get hot, it smells like that burning brake dust. This is literally burned onto the caliper. So this should be able to come off very easily. And it is literally burned on. So these are my old brake pads and this is basically what that smell was when I'm talking about that track day that I had specifically. Um, yeah, it's like a plate that's basically burned off and Hopefully these brake pads will uh, do a little bit better than this. <laughs> you do actually want to get these resurfaced, these rotors here. And while checking on mine, mine are pretty smooth and you can never tell. But if you actually take off these brake calipers and go to AutoZone or actually the only place that I know that does it by me is actually O'Reilly's. So what they do is for the pair, they actually will shave this down and resurface it for about $15 for the front pair and $15 for the rear pair as well. Brake pads come with this gearhead grease pack and basically what it says is to, on the back side of this you want to rub everywhere that touches the brake caliper on the back side of this brake pad right here. Make sure we get every piece here. And it'll literally stop all the squeaking. You wanna get all the metal parts here. So here, 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 and just lube the shit out of it. Just like that. Easy, right? <laughs> The other side back in. So another thing before reinstalling these brake pads, uh, you want to make sure that the brake is fully decompressed. If it is not, then these brake pads right here, so right here and right here will not fit on this rotor. So you just want to make sure of that. So once those screws are in back here, you want to put the caps back on. And then in the front, you want to make sure that this metal piece is back on as well. Okay, so these lug nuts come with a specific key um, and it works with a 19 millimeter or a 21 millimeter. So the 19 will fit this top part here and the 21 millimeter will fit this second part here. So based on what you have, you can use either or.
get up there. Not so great of a driver, because you know I'm Asian and whatnot. <laughs> God, look at the brake dust all right there.